welcome to my channel. Please follow me on social media so you don't miss anything that I am posting. I tend to post to social media first. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned till I show you how I redo my laundry room on a budget for under $100. So we ran to Home Depot, picked up some floor tiling that were $17 and change. We needed two boxes, a can of paint, a couple of wall uh, brackets to hold up some shelves. And then on Walmart, I ordered this rolling laundry sorter. You can also get it on Amazon, but it shipped quicker through Walmart. The price was basically the same. For under $100, how I transformed this laundry room from drip to now fabulous. So anyway, we just took down the old wall curtains, cleared the entire room out, got the new washer, ripped up the old flooring, and then we decided to go ahead and pick up this peel and stick tiles. They were 12 by 24. We needed two boxes. They were $17 and change a box from Home Depot. A fresh coat of white paint. Since the room is kind of small, we had to try to, you know, do the best. So we did the white. We started laying the floor tile down. And um, we didn't tile the entire room. Um, we did tile up to the washer, like underneath a little bit of it, and the dryer, and um, in front of the furnace. But since it's a very narrow room, as you can see, um, that's why we kept it white and bright. And the fresh coat, we painted the shelving and everything all white will just work. So unfortunately, we have a lot of duct work from the central air unit and the heating system in there. So we just tried to do the best we could. Um, once we had put the floor tile down, we noticed there was a little slight gap because the wall wasn't totally even. So we put some quarter round down, added some wall shelves with some basic white hooks. Uh, we repurposed an old shelf that we had taken out of the master bedroom. And once it was complete and we laid the already primed white quarter round molding down, I think it just looks beautiful. It's modern, it's bright, there's lots of texture colors in it, and the shelving now that I added over there will house just some extra hangers and vases that I use. I um, went in my curtain bin and found curtains that would match. I already had the purple bins, so like I said, I reuse what I have in the house to save money on the budget. And then we um, went ahead and added the laundry sorter, which I'm going to show you how that looks. Put the curtains up, and now I'm just going to add some pretty wall art. And once again, I go through my craft supplies or what I have in the house and try to then coordinate it into the design. So hope you enjoyed my quick laundry room remodel. It's so much nicer, cleaner, and brighter. And I hope this inspires you to tackle that project you've been putting off. Because Lord knows I've been putting this one off for a long time. And by the way, we got a new washer machine. I got nothing fancy. I wanted a basic model. I'm tired of them always breaking. I don't know if it's because I have a large family and I really use the machine a lot. But the front loaders and all of them, I've just had bad luck with. So I went back to an old school washer. After cleaning up and realizing there really wasn't a home for the brooms and mops, I ordered these command hooks from Amazon that you attach to the wall. I attached them to my side utility cabinet in the laundry room. So now the brooms, the dustpan, and the Swiffer are now out of my way. Also in Home Depot, I picked up these really pretty crystal shabby chic hooks. And I hung them on the wall to then add the ironing board and keep it out of my way and it has a place. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Talk to you all soon. Love, peace, and blessings. Bye.